Blade and Soul is a Korean martial arts MMORPG developed by NCSoft, released on January 19, 2016 in Western regions. Fast forward until today, in 2021, game is half dead on Western servers, but on September 8, we are getting Unreal Engine 4 update and a new class, Dual Blade. Is that enough to revive this old but still beautiful MMORPG and is the game worth playing in 2021? You will find out in today's video. Let's dive into video and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more MMORPG videos in the future. So let's see what would be the reasons to play this game in 2021 or maybe reasons not to play it. First thing which comes to my mind when I think about Blade and Soul is pay to win. Sadly, this game falls into category of pay to win games and that fact alone will make many people to avoid it. However, beside that reason, all other reasons are going in the favor of this MMORPG, so let's see why you should play this game in 2021. Probably many of you would say that population of players on Western servers is currently very low. But don't worry about that, because after September 8, that situation will improve for sure. Lots of players will return to the game after a long time, at least to check how the game is looking now. And also some new players might start to play the game. So what can Unreal Engine 4 update offer to us beside beautiful graphics, and a new class. Let's check it out. I am here on official website of Blade and Soul PC and of course I will put the link in the description below video but now let's check what is this Unreal Engine 4 update bringing new to the table, why people should come back to this beautiful MMORPG. So first thing regarding Unreal Engine 4 update, obviously game will look more beautiful. I mean, we already know from before that Blade and Soul is a beautiful game. You can now imagine only how will this game look after Unreal Engine 4 update. However, this is not the only thing. This is not the only reason why you should come back to this game. Let's check what we have further. We have a new class incoming, Dual Blade, and actually I am preparing specific video about this class, Dual Blade. You will see many details, you will see combat, you will see this class in action. I will probably upload that video later today or maybe tomorrow. So a new class, I mean, this is always a huge thing. When in MMORPG game, any MMORPG game, developer is implementing a new class into the game, that's always a good reason to come back to the game. And now, as you can see, Dual Blade, a new class, is incoming with Unreal Engine 4 update. Like I said, you will see many details about this class, about the skills, uh, gameplay, combat, in specific video, which I will upload later today or tomorrow. Beside a new class, that's not everything, we are also getting a new four player dungeon, Forest of Echoes, same like for Dual Blade class, I have get lots of interesting information about this new four player dungeon, you will see that in my next video. But probably most important thing is here. So we are also getting battle user interface update, which is nice, new breaker system, but if I scroll a little bit down here, you will see here the most important sentence. We've broken limitations on previous engine and now introducing a refined game performance with less lag and more definition for your pure enjoyment. This part of the sentence here, better game performance with less lag. I know this is important for you for sure, same as for me, because if the game will perform better and it should, then we will have much better enjoyment while we play Blade and Soul and much better gameplay experience. This is really important. I will show you also one really interesting interview with developers of the game who are actually with people who are actually developing this Unreal Engine 4 update. Before I can show you here, 
pre-download is already possible. I have already done that. I have already downloaded that Unreal Engine 4 update version of the game. So I can highly recommend to you if it's your intention to play Blade and Soul after September 8th, pre-download the game right now. But let's now move to that interview with developers of the game. Uh, I have here a few people are named here. Let's check the names. We have a product director Hong Yeo Kim, art director Hyun Chi Yong, a lead programmer Seng Yoon Lee, and the lead game designer Byung Yo Kwon. Probably I have pronounced this completely wrong. I apologize because of that, but it doesn't matter. I want to show you here something really important. So this interview is actually pretty long. I will not read to you everything here. Of course, I will put the link in the description below video, but I just want to show you here something really crucial. So first question here, what was the motivation behind upgrading the game's engine? There were a few motivations behind upgrading the game's engine to enhance the graphics quality. So that's the first thing, right? quality of graphics, like I said on the start, it will be much better. Certainly, the most important thing was to resolve the latency issue players have been experiencing. The CPU, GPU architecture has been improved to use multi-cores, multi-CPUs. But the Unreal Engine 3 couldn't process rendering ETC using the multi-cores, which used latency in the client. So this is that huge thing. Overall performance of the game should be much better. It's not only about beauty of the game. I know that is really important. However, it's also important to say that most of us have really good PCs. If you play MMORPGs, you know that you cannot play MMORPGs on just average PC. You need to have really good PC. However, it doesn't matter even if you have high-end PC, if you have Unreal Engine 3 game, well, your PC will not work on that maximum capacity. However, now your PC will be able to really show full beauty of the game and of course, overall performance of the game will be better. What do you think our players would enjoy most out of the update? We have here answer from Byung Yu Kwon, we hope our players will enjoy a smoother, higher quality play after graphics improvement and optimization throughout Unreal Engine 4 update. So this is that thing, not only graphic improvements, it's about optimization throughout Unreal Engine 4 update. And I know for many of you, same as for me, this will be probably the main reason to return to Blade and Soul after a long time. It's not only about beautiful graphics, new class, like I have shown you here. Where is it? A new class, new class, a dual blade, and also that new four player dungeon. These things are important, but not as much as that overall better performance of the game. How will that look? All remains to be seen. September 8th is coming soon. We will see after we start to play the game, but I think that these reasons are actually pretty good reasons to come back to play Blade and Soul after a while. I mean, I didn't play Blade and Soul a long time, I have to admit. I have played Blade and Soul after release, that was a long time ago, and I have enjoyed really a lot. It's really beautiful, really amazing MMORPG. Later, Pay to Win have ruined this game, population on the servers, population of players, have really went down. However, now we have Unreal Engine 4 update, new class, dual blade, more beautiful graphics, new dungeon, four player dungeon, forest of echoes, and also that optimization throughout Unreal Engine 4 update to make overall performance of the game better. I think that those reasons are enough, really actually more than enough to come back to Blade and Soul, I mean, it's a free to play game. And try to play it, you will see how will you like it. If you don't like it, well, we have some other new upcoming MMORPGs coming this year and in 2022. However, you might like 
how is the game looking now you might like a new class and of course you'll be maybe fascinated how the game now runs on your pc like i said even if you have some really amazing high-end gaming pc it doesn't matter with unreal engine 3 you couldn't use your pc to that maximum capacity now with this update your pc will be able to use all the advantages of unreal engine 4 update and you should be able to enjoy in gameplay of this game even more so is the game worth playing in 2021 after unreal engine 4 update in my opinion absolutely yes i mean at least it's worth to try to play it how will everything look after september 8th it might turn out to be something really amazing in generally that gameplay experience of blade and soul in 2021 everything remains to be seen and is this enough to revive this old mmorpg i hope it is honestly i hope it is i cannot be sure is it enough or not right for any mmorpg not only for blade and soul you need certain amount of players to actually play the game this is not battle royale game or some kind of shooter this is mmorpg you need actually lots of players to play the game to be able to enjoy to full capacity in that game and uh, like i said let's hope for the best uh, regarding the future of blade and soul let me know in the comments below video will you try to play blade and soul after unreal engine 4 update how do you like a new class and I have already mentioned during this video, I am preparing specific video regarding this new class, Dual Blade. You will see all the details. You will see new class in action. I will probably upload that video later today or tomorrow. And uh, will you play new class? And of course, let me know in the comments below video. Tell me, do you think all of these things which I have said during the video, Unreal Engine 4 update, dual blade, new class, a new dungeon, better performance of the game. Is this enough to revive this old beauty of MMORPG game? Also, if you are interested into new MMORPGs, check my YouTube channel. Focus of my YouTube channel are MMORPG games, but more specifically, new upcoming MMORPGs. So if you are interested into Lost Ark, New World, Ashes of Creation, Blue Protocol, Alien, Swords of Legends Online, and many other new MMORPGs. Check my YouTube channel to see lots of gameplay videos, guides, news, and reviews from world of MMORPG gaming. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more MMORPG videos in the future. See you soon.